What are your names? Marco. Marco. Assis. Assis? What's your ethnicity? Indian. Indian. Great to meet you, man. Assis. Assis. What are you doing work-wise, Assis? Uh, I'm a hardware engineer. Hardware engineer. Who would have thought? <laughs> Both of you guys are single? Oh, Assis, we gotta find you a woman. You guys only get one, right? Is that, is that correct? Is that correct? Is it only one life? It is? Okay. Yeah. It's one wife, eight arms, right? Is that the thing that it does? Yeah, so who needs a wife when you can just Spider-Man your way around? Just saying. Is that, is that Hindu? That's Hindu. What is your, uh, do you practice any religion at all? I'm a Sikh. You're a Sikh? All right, I'll hide. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but he hunts you with a laser scope, so you just get a little dot right here when he finds you. He doesn't really like go in. The... <laughs> that was too weird. Thank you for the fuck. <laughs> I see. What, what is it? What is a Sikh exactly? Um, so it's a different religion. Different, totally different religion from Hindu. Oh, I did not know that. Not totally, but yeah. Not totally, but like an off-brand. Okay, no, that's, that's fair, because there's Christianity, and then there's like, there's, there's, there's Catholicism, like there's like, there's little branches of the same kind of thing. It's more different than that? Good. You guys fuck adults? Okay, guys, make it sure. Who, who is the Sikh god? Uh, so we have different uh, gurus. There's... Different gurus? Oh, that's awesome. I love that. Like how many would you estimate, ballpark, how many are there? No, ten. ten of them? Okay. Am I allowed to convert to Sikhism? Yeah. Could I really? Is there a process, like, you know, for like Catholicism, you gotta like baptize and shit. Is there anything I have to do? If you say you're a Sikh right now, you're a Sikh. If I say I'm a Sikh right now, I'm a Sikh, all right, bet. <laughs> huh, that easy? Wow, huh. You can just identify as a Sikh. Yeah, I know that. I know there's ten gods. That's like, that's like just enough to start an argument with somebody, isn't it? <laughs> if next time I meet a random white person and they're like, "Are you Catholic?" I'm like, "No, I'm a Sikh," and they go, "You don't even know what that is." I go, "There's ten gods." <laughs> so. Ten gurus. Sorry. Fuck. God damn it! I thought I had it. I really thought I had it too. God damn it. What's what's usually your type? Usually. Uh, tough to describe. Tough to describe. Give me your best shot. Yeah, what are they, molten lava? Like, how fucking hard could it be? <laughs> Tall, short, blonde, brunette, alive, dead. What's your thing? <laughs> Sorry, what'd you say? No, just confidence. Confidence. You gotta find you an ugly girl. <laughs> ugly girls be confident, dude. Oh, man. I'm, I'm jealous, honestly. Or he needs a redhead. Or he needs a redhead? <laughs> have, you, have you ever dated a redhead? Ever. I figured. I'd, it'd be weird if you weren't. <laughs> if you ever date a redhead, what you're going to want to do is take her for a long walk on a sunny beach, right? Take her for a long walk, no sunscreen. They hate that, right? <laughs> they fucking hate it, man. Have you ever dated an Indian guy before? Hello? <laughs> you, you have? You have? You have? No. You never have? Okay, would you be open to it? You would try it? Yeah, it's like curry, you know, you just dip it, you gotta try it first. And sometimes it can be too spicy. Some people can't handle it, you know what I mean? It's a lot of fucking flavor. Yeah. Are you, you're single right now? Yep, married, Matt. Married. Then why the fuck are we having this conversation? I'm over here trying to play matchmaker. I love your headpiece, man. I wanted to point that out and say much respect. That looks fucking awesome. What's your name, man? Chad. Chad. Yeah, dude. Just a fucking yeah. burly ass dude. <laughs> is it, uh, is the, what, what is it called exactly? I want to be respectful. Oh, it's a turban. It's a turban? Yeah, gotcha. Seek. What's that? Seek. Seek. I thought that was a racial slur. That's the actual thing? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well, great to meet you, Chad. What's on it? You got Voldemort under there? What's underneath that thing? <laughs>
<laughs> Go to the Matt Ryan comedy show. <laughs> You're gonna wanna buy a flight for September 11th. <laughs> <laughs> guys, man. If we can't do some stereotypes, what are we doing, man? God damn it, I hate white people, Chad. Gosh. I'd like to get rid of a few, too. You know what I mean? I totally get it, bro. I really do. Too many of us. He's white? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. What, what paint color would you say that is? Like? What lavender? <laughs> bit of a bit of beige. <laughs> Bomb beige. It's the last one, okay? God. <laughs> Fucking hell, dude. You guys, you guys drove down from Kentucky for this? Fuck, man. I'm so thank you so much. You didn't have to do that. I'll, I'll come up there. <laughs> right, well, I hope you enjoy the rest of the show. I'm not, I'm not gonna fuck with you too much because everybody's being a fucking baby. <laughs> Are you a father, Chad? No, no kids yet. He said, thank God. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> Sikh, is, is, it a, is it a religion, an ethnicity? Religion. It is religion. Like, what differentiates that from like Christianity? Like, what, what are some cultural differences in that? But we do believe in reincarnation. Oh, reincarnation. Is that, all, is that all based on karma, you think? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> I can't risk it. I didn't even ask you where you were. Uh, I, I flip houses. You flip houses? Mainly demolition? <laughs> So much, man. You guys aren't fun. You think you're cool and you're in with the group and you do one little thing, you're like, well, let's see if he laughs first. Fuck you guys, man. Like, Chad isn't my boy. God, God damn, man. Oh, if I had just the littlest bit of melanin, I would never fucking talk to you. <laughs> Chad, you've been such a good sport. You're such a good audience member, man. You're cool, you got a good energy, you got a good family with you. You laugh well. You got cuddly energy. Is he a big teddy bear? Teddy bear. Chatty bear. Aww. That's a bear. Gross. <laughs> Just because I know y'all been laying there naked and sweaty, but like my little chatty bear, and he's like, <laughs> You been to prison? How long were you in there for? Six months to a year? You left and came right back? Did you forget something? Your asshole? What, what did they send you there for the first time? What did they say you did? There is nothing funny about that at all. Attempted. Attempted. Yeah, you are a failure, actually. Pussy. <laughs> Man, did you go top or bottom bunk? You went bottom bunk. Now, is that a power move for the convenience? No, the guy below me was like 130 pounds. He was scared I was going to fall. The dude on the other bunk was 130 pounds. He thought you were going to fall through the top bunk onto him and smash him. That should have been the last thing he was concerned you were going to do to him. Oh, I'm going to smash you. You're about to get five to seven. Depending on how hard I am. This is fucking scary. Give me an honest answer. How well do you think I'd fare? Shut up, everybody else. I want. Can I fight? Find out, pussy. Oh, you want to go? Ha, 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 ha.
What's your advice? If you don't smoke, what, do you, what, will, what will be your advice? You, you like to have a drink? I don't really drink either. You don't really drink either? Yeah, man. You're, you're really a gentle giant. <laughs> An attempted murder, guilty, uh, gentle giant. But you didn't finish the job because you got a heart and bad aim. <laughs> you have a heart and couldn't find his. Isn't that too crazy? <laughs> pisses me off is like in comedy like I'm cute it just makes me feel like shit look I'm sorry man I should have no it's not you man you're like a four <laughs> look at this guy Damn. not Damn. in a bad way but can, I'm just saying like can we can we under can we all get on board like why does he do comedy like what is he doing <laughs> don't you know you could do anything else bro like you could just walk down the street people throw gift cards at you like you because you're so hot I, I don't can do even, everything but have bro, an you... Instagram <laughs> Fucking what weekend. happened can I ask you what happened? Oh, I ju you must have not been here when I, when I was talking oh, about Oh, no, yeah, sorry. Oh, it's all right. I'll ask you off. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, by the way, you said four? What? No. <laughs> You're still sitting on no, that? No, no, no. I, I am sitting so on that. Out of four? Out of five. Out of five. Out of five. You're not a four. What the I, fuck? Is this an Uber rating? No. This is some bullshit. Well, thank you for being the first black dude I've seen in five shows in Denver. I appreciate that. Thank you very much, man. Thank you. Tell more next time. What's your name, man? Rasheem. Rasheem? Rasheem, who are you here with? You say blonde? <laughs> blonde, what's your name? Katie. Katie. Remember that. Okay. You know that? <laughs> Kids? I have you have one. Boy, girl? Girl. girl. Rasheem, you've met this child? Uh-huh. <laughs> Your daughter likes Rasheem? Good. How does her dad feel? It doesn't matter. That's a good answer. Is he white? <laughs> I'll tell you how he feels. That's how you win, Rasheem. That's how you win, boy. Let's go. <laughs> Every month is February in this house. Now, Rasheem, what is the best gift Katie has given you? Don't say head. Carabiner. A carabiner? Just a tiny Mexican? from rock climbing, bitch. That's the joke. I know that. <laughs> and if Mexicans can rock climb, that wall wouldn't do anything, so. <laughs> a carabiner. Do you rock climb? Then why did she give you a carabiner? You a janitor? You have it with you? He's got a gun! No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm so kidding. Joking, want to be very clear, security. We are fine. I know they're your key. May I see them? God damn, dude. What are you, a janitor at Hogwarts? Jesus Christ. AirPods, wallet, hand sanitizer. Flashlight? Yeah. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> this might be my last show. <laughs> this might be it. Oh, but ah! God was like, how do you like it? <laughs> It's still daytime outside? <laughs> Guys, we cannot be racist with the sun up. Like, there, there's, there's rules. I have some intimacy issues. I don't like cuddling. It's a lot of logistics. If you're the small spoon, you have to get into like a weird fetal position. Move your hair so it's out of his face, but still looks cute. <laughs> and he always puts his hand right here, so you have to go, Aah! You gotta suck in, and God forbid a little air wants to come out. <laughs> It's game time, ladies. You clench like you've never clenched before. But let's say you pivot, you put your head on his chest. You're like, this is safer. But as you're doing it, you feel his chest go up and down and you're like, oh my God. It would be so cute if I matched my breath with his breath and we became one soul to take on the world together. But then as you're doing it, You kind of forget how to f breathe. 
and then there's no air going in or out. It's unsafe. It's unsafe to cuddle. Than it should be. Don't fall. Don't do it. I know. Stay strong. You always want to not cough. It's way cooler. I remember the first time I ever smoked. I mean, I just coughed. I thought I was going to throw my heart. You know, first, the first time I ever tried to bong, I drank so much of that water. Dude. I didn't know. I Wait. didn't know the level of which you're supposed to suck. Wait, you drank it first? I didn't. I didn't. I wasn't like, ooh. No, I, I was doing the. You gotta stay hydrated. But but I, I went, and it just went all in my fucking mouth. Dude. It was just. And it was it was like a frat house bong too. Like, this was not. Well kept. Oh, uh, so everybody was like, oh, you fucking pussy! Oh, yeah, they were like, Ryan stuck his dick in that as a dare last night. <laughs> it's always Ryan putting his dick in bombs, right? Comedy is just so funny, though, because it's not like any other live art form. Like, if, if, if Hamilton was going on up here, and somebody was like, my husband eats my ass like a monster! <laughs> Al Alexander Hamilton would be like, did I miss a musical number? <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> Because people, I guess if people heckle on a comedy show, there's like the possibility of it becoming interactive, you know what I mean? I don't think anyone, I don't think a play has ever took the play, the story, into the crowd. Broken like the now that person wall. is a character in Hamilton. Can you make quiet, town whore? <laughs> Are you going to see Lion King and some guy dressed as Pumbaa is just like, Hakuna man! Hey, shut the fuck up, you cunt! And you're like, Jesus Christ, Pumbaa. Are you hungry? What's with the negativity? And then it just goes right back into it. Sorry, Hakuna Matata. <laughs> Man, shut up, bitch. Is there an animal? And yes, the weeds kicked in. Is there? <laughs> is there an animal you confidently feel like you could fucking Britney Spears? <laughs> He's always got those. He's always got those two. I feel like I could slip, slip, add some, add some fucking butter and lemon on this bitch. Take a bite out of the middle of the night. Wait, that's the most gangster shit ever. First of all, I love that you make your own sound effects when you punch. Would you say you went? Hey? Hey? Yeah, and then drizzle some butter. That's a fucking gangster move, dude. Eat him in front of his family. Dude, I, okay. <laughs> Do queefs smell? <laughs> We'll be right back. <laughs> did anybody ever buy that candle from her? From Gwyneth? From Gwyneth Paltrow. You did? Yes. What's, what's it smell like? <laughs> did he say bedding? He said mayonnaise. <laughs> oh, even worse. That's like, that's one of the most racist things I've ever heard. Yep. I think a white dude said it, but man, it What did you get, yo? Buffalo chicken mac and, mac and cheese. cheese. Buffalo chicken mac and cheese. You are not fucking tonight. That is. <laughs> there is no way. Or there is a way, and I feel bad for the dude, yo. Is that your girl? Yeah, you guys look cute too, man. Y'all together too? Yeah. Yeah, man. Y'all ever switch it up? <laughs> huh? This is our parents. Son. That's your son? Y'all look young as. That dude came out your There's no way! That's your stepmom. Now that makes sense. Hell yeah, dude. Get drunk. Fuck your stepmom. That's what's up. Uh, stepmom, how old are you, stepmom? I'm 36. You're 36? And how old are you, bruh? 28. 28. That's too close! First of all, sir, congrats, dog. That's... Where did you find her? At, like, a playground? Where did you... What did you say? You found her in prison? Yeah. And what did you do in prison, man? Were you the warden? No, I... I <laughs> did I not say that right? Yeah. Hold on, say it real quick. Warden. Oh, warden. Yeah. Oh, cool, man. Shut up. <laughs> I've been saying that shit wrong my whole life. <laughs> my bad, dude. Three What's up, beautiful? How you doing? Oh, who is this? What's your name, love? Nicole. Nicole. Nice to meet you, Nicole. Who are you here with? Rebecca. Rebecca? What's up, Rebecca? How old are you, Nicole? 33. 33. Have you done Molly? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> it might fix you. It 
shut up, balcony. Shut up. Can, can I ask what, what your condition is? CP? Yeah. Hey, Rebecca, where did you meet? You also have CP? Where? Uh, Nicole, don't let her be that cool. Don't let her be that cool. She didn't earn it. Shut up. Is that another wheelchair? Hold on, Nicole. What's your name, brother? Ryan. Ryan, pleasure to meet you, Ryan. Who are you here with? Jennifer. Pleasure to meet you, Jennifer. You got hit by a train? Took a shortcut home from the bar, passed out next to the tracks. You didn't hear the choo choo. Is he hard to wake up in the morning? I imagine. I wake up every morning, legs are just asleep, and you're like, fucking come on, dude. Can I take a selfie with No, but I'll run a train on your girlfriend. I got you, brother. Is your phone off? Thank you. Thank you. It's not like you'd feel it vibrate, so. You want to flip it in reverse over here? Put it in reverse, tear it. It's one of the best videos. Hold on, what's your shirt say? I pee in pools. I do. I Oh, well, the shallow end. You got it? My boy. Great to meet you, brother. Enjoy the rest of the show, okay? I know you didn't ask for it, but come here. Oh, get in here. Great to meet you, beautiful. Oh, I grabbed her titty. What, she gonna fire a report? No. So fucking sweet. Back to me, I was an orphan, and... Is that your husband? No. Oh, you're not together? Are you single? You're not, who's your, so you're just with another woman? <laughs> your friends? <laughs> he goes, it's okay, we go to school together. Have you guys ever f***ed? <laughs> Cause you're both very good looking. Look at me just stirring up the pot. <laughs> So you have a boyfriend right now? No. And you have a girlfriend? Where is she? Locked up in your basement? Where is she? Are you friends with her? You met her. It's giving... It's giving Raquel. That was a niche reference. Sorry, Rachel. What did you say? Make fun of amputees. Make fun of amputees. God damn, dude. That could be half the show. Are there any amputees here? Wait, for real? Oh, him? Oh. Right. <laughs> what do you, what's amputated? Both legs. What happened to your legs? Uh, I got blown up over my rack in 2003. Holy shit. Well, thank you for your service. Blown up in Iraq. Are we talking, are we talking Claymore? Are we talking Cherry Bomb, Roman Candle? What was it? Sound like a lot of dangerous words in a row. <laughs> I can understand that. And is it, are you above the knee or below the knee? Uh, below the knee, I'm both. Still got your kneecaps? Yep. That's good. <laughs> not really, I mean, those, those go with age. <laughs> you might have been better off. If it's not too late, I would. <laughs> it's too late, it's too late. What's your biggest red flag? 
yelling out when I'm talking to somebody. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Just playing with it. I'm just kidding. Uh, two legs. Ah, overrated. <laughs> How old are you? Uh, I turned 40 tomorrow. Wait, for real? Yeah. Happy early birthday, man. What? What are you doing for the birthday? Deer hunt tomorrow. Well, I hope you get to commit cold-blooded murder tomorrow for your life. There's nothing. You imagine you a deer and you get shot by a dude with no legs. You on the ground, and then you see. You're like, no fucking way. <laughs> the last thing you see is a fucking cyborg, dude. <laughs> Respectfully. You should lay out some landmines for the deer. <laughs> the biggest age gap that you uh, did some recreation activities with? 40. 40 year difference? God damn. Yep. <laughs> Where did you meet a 25 year old? Like, David and Busters? Where did you meet? dog in here? <laughs> Why? It's a medical service dog. It is four inches long. You don't see me out here talking about I have a, an emotional support dick. You don't see me doing that to people. Anyway, if I sneeze, that dog will die from here. What's the term? You just beat cancer and they gave you a dog? No way. What kind of cancer was it? Metastatic breast cancer, and then I had two heart attacks. Breast cancer? You still got them? You got new ones? What? Let's see them puppies. You got an emotional support dog right here. Oh, oh. So stupid. That's so stupid, dude. Why do you have it dressed like a fucking build a bear, dude? She's a medical service dog. Medical service dog. So, what would this dog do if you had a medical emergency besides get swooped up by an owl? You're gonna use it as one of those fucking stress balls. <laughs> it just, it just, I know you guys in the top can't see it, but we're down here. We can also barely see it. Just so you know. You're not missing anything. Okay. Can I hold her, can I hold her for real? Oh, oh my goodness. Don't crush it. You're too fucking strong for this dog. Okay? What if you have a heart attack right now? <laughs> and I'm just like, <laughs> I'm dying. I know, she's so cute. <laughs> OMG, I'm dead. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna give her back. You're okay, sweetie. You're okay. You're okay. Yo. I am a beast apologist. <laughs> Because the beast, they try to make it like he's this disgusting, horrible villain. The beast is easily 6'4". <laughs> Looks like Travis Kelsey. Here, <laughs> broad shoulders, huge. Pulls off capris. <laughs> is a homeowner with a mansion and a library. That's old money, okay? That's fucking money. I know some of you guys are like, Hannah. He's super controlling. He never let her leave the house. But that's my literal dream. 
to never leave a mansion and have gay utensils getting me food the entire time. I thought I saw a cowboy hat over there. There, actually, there it is. What's up, man? Why do you know that? He walked past you and you smelled him? That's so creepy. What if the front row would have done that when she walked by the shit and everybody was like... You don't smell people on purpose when they walk by. What does he, sm what does he smell like? Dandelions in Copenhagen? What cologne do you wear? Sexy for him. Sexy for him? You broke your back in two places? Doing what? A parachute accident? It's the whitest way to get injured, dude. It's the whitest way. You're making us look terrible right now. You were, you were in the service? Which branch? Army? Oh, good shit. Thanks for your service. I, uh, was it a equipment malfunction or you land wrong? Equipment that's like the worst that's like the worst thing that could happen. I've been I've been skydiving four times and I'm I'm gonna keep the dude strapped in my bag. <laughs> Cause I know for the military, if you're if you're any kind of paratrooper, they make you learn by the first time you jump out of a plane is by yourself, right? See that's fucking insane. Anybody with even slight depression will be like, you know what? <laughs> if I just think about it for another 35 seconds, it'll take care of itself. <laughs> I don't trust myself. Do you guys have that thing where like if you stand next to like a railing on a balcony, like you feel like your body's gonna go, fuck it. <laughs> That's the feeling I would have if I had a parachute by myself and I'd be like, let's go. Was it during training or were you stationed, were you getting stationed somewhere? We were on a mission in Iraq. You were on a mission in Iraq? I don't think you're supposed to talk about this. <laughs> Was this your first mission? No. Oh, thank God. <laughs> well, imagine your first time, you're like, let's fucking go. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I know there aren't trees there, but it, I pictured trees. Well, first and foremost, thank you for your service. Um, second, I, s I still want to know what you smell like. Uh, smell like murder. Because, <laughs> dude, war veterans will get dark real quick, man. It smells like what it looks like to take a man's life and watch his breath leave his body. Sexy for him. <laughs> Favorite tattoo, man. My memorial piece for my brother who passed away. Your memorial piece that your brother passed away. Cool way to bring the show down immediately. <laughs> so that, that was very brave of you for him. I didn't know. What do you do, man, besides ruin comedy shows, bro? I knew this was gonna happen. Oh, well, yeah, dude, you're literally on stage. Like you literally could be like my ventriloquist dummy. Like I could bring you up. Your lady? Dated a long time ago. Y'all dated a long time ago. And then what what happened? I broke up with him. You broke up with him? Damn, was that before or after the brother? Was <laughs> Why'd you break up? This motherfucker crying too much and shit. Why did you guys break up? We're best friends. You guys are best friends. This kind of just wean off. No, this is great. This is great? Oh, yeah. But you got what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> so how did you guys realize we're friends? As your wife would come on your face, I think we're friends. I think. <laughs> Brothers, it takes <laughs> that was too much. I we we hit the line. We I I
Hey, how old are you guys? 65. 65? Shut up. <laughs> 65, what is your name? Rosemary. Rosemary. Uh. You know what's crazy? They, they named the spice after her. That's how old she is. That's what's crazy. Wow. How's your baby? That's just for the old people. That was, that was, that was just for us. Are you, are you still working? Are you retired? Still working. Still working? What do you, what do, you do? I manage a roofing company. You manage a roofing company? At 65? Don't go up there. <laughs> that is... That is 12 feet closer to heaven than you need to be right now. <laughs> let's keep you... Let's, let's get you working in a basement company. <laughs> it will be fantastic. Actually, no. I just realized that. I just realized that. I just realized what that actually meant. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Ground level. <laughs> Rosemary, have you, have you ever done any drug? Ever? Only nicotine and cigarettes. That's worse, technically. You guys do like the, the, the fucked up packaging on cigarettes down here, don't you? That's crazy, dude. <laughs> to be like, fuck it. <laughs> That's fucking, that is so crazy you need it that bad. <laughs> don't have too much, you know what I mean? <laughs> Rosemary, it's your time. She just, <laughs> but she's in like that little beam and she's like, hold on. <laughs> the fuck was that? A train? This your first train, Rosemary? I was running trains when they were called locomotives. Are, are there any gay men here? How old? Uh, 32. 32. What is your name, my boy? Isaac. Isaac? Mm -hmm. Will you say it, Isaac? <laughs> you know you don't have to say it that way. <laughs> Isaac. <laughs> are you single, Isaac? <laughs> you are. What's usually your type? Usually. I love the audience is like, mm, what do we think? <laughs> How old are you? 33. Mm. <laughs> Your ovaries are shrinking. <laughs> what are we gonna do? I'm just kidding, it's fuck. 33 for a guy is like a baby. Okay. <laughs> oh no, well when you were gone, I did kind of like ask him what was going on and we all like made fun of him and laughed at him. <laughs> but he was a really good sport about it. But he basically was like, I love her so much, I don't know how to propose. <laughs> <laughs> we were trying to give him strategy. He was like, do I do it at like the Statue of Liberty tomorrow? Like, what do I do? <laughs> and I was like, her nails are done beautifully right now. Chrome, look at them. <laughs> so anyway, I'll let you guys talk about that tonight, whatever you want. A pulse. <laughs> Well, Rosemary's out. <laughs> All straight and dead and shit. Oh my god. <laughs> Rosemary, you remember 30? <laughs> what was Sydney like 35 years ago? Like, what was like the thing to do around here? Lacrosse. Lacrosse? Is that what you said? King's Cross. King's Cross. Oh, gotcha. I thought I'm just picturing Rosemary fucking. <laughs> <laughs> but it's her cane. <laughs> I would like to travel a bit more here. Like to travel a bit more? Do you, do you have a place? I'd like to go to Europe. Now, now, now would be... I was young, so I like to do it when I'm old. You did it when you were young? Yeah. For the draft or what? <laughs> yeah, you might want to see Germany now. <laughs> Probably changed a bit since you were a kid. <laughs> Do you have anything you would like to ask me? I love the show where you spoke about your granddad and how much you love
Mugabe meant how much he supported you since you were itty bitty young. So what was the question? <laughs> You want to hear more about my grandpa because you watched, you saw the special that I did on, on YouTube? Who the fuck showed you YouTube? <laughs> wow, that's a, wow, I did not expect you to ask that. Very good question, thank you. Well, he, uh, he, he passed away last Thanksgiving, so a little over a year ago, so you'll meet him soon. <laughs> I'm sure he can tell you all about it, you know. Um, Oh, I wish I had like funny stories about him built up. He was just, uh, no, he was just, he was, he was my best friend. Thank you. Head helps, but. <laughs> it's what he would have wanted. But it's fine. A shoey? If it's Rosemary's shoe. First of all, let me see them bunions. Let me see. I'll do mine. God damn. I need, but I need, um... You guys swear to God you guys do this. How's it going? Yeah. That's your dad. How old are you, bro? 53. You didn't even say 53. You said 53. That's wild. <laughs> That's how young that motherfucker. 53. Next question. How many TikTok followers you got, you young bitch? What the hell does that mean? There was one video with like me, him, and my ex-boyfriend that got in like the six million. So you and your ex-boyfriend and your father were in a video yeah. together. No sh they got six million, bro. <laughs> what were you guys doing in it? Okay, so there was a trend going on. It was like I had never seen two pretty best friends. It was his idea. We Whose idea? My ex-boyfriend. So we okay. were laying in my bed. You were laying in your bed? Yeah. <laughs> father? He came in. Like, he came in? <laughs> Okay. Video on my phone. I don't want to see it. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm not Hunter Biden. I don't want to see that fucking shit. <laughs> and then the father comes in, and then and then what do you what do you say in the video, bro? It's two o'clock in the damn morning. What are you doing here? You know what? I ain't never seen two pretty best friends. You like grab the phone. You like grab You like you did vocal warms in the car. Me 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 ma. That's a very cool dad. I know. Okay. My friends all love him. Your friends all love him? No, don't don't say that. I um, fucking Dars. You're working you? Doors? Dars? Dars. I don't know what it stands for. He doesn't know either. Thank you! <laughs> you keep repeating Dars. Where? Dars. Where? Dars. He'll get it eventually. Dars. <laughs> Are you raising your hand like it's class? <laughs> what would you like to say? So, I don't know what Dars stands for, but... <laughs> For audio. Transcription. Yeah. For, for audio. Court. For court. Yeah. Oh, so you're the stand stenographer. No, I'm not a reporter. <laughs> I think <think it's> <laughs> I'm sitting in court sometimes and I let witnesses into court to appear. That's how I feel. <laughs> That's literally how I feel. Maybe you should be speed dating, but you might need that shit. Oh, you have someone. Yeah. Is he deaf? <laughs>
great to meet you, Rosemary. Thank you for being so sweet. Well, I think the only thing left to do now is Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oh. What real sex in movies where you're riding a guy, right? No, look, ladies, when you're riding a guy in real life, don't worry about what's going on over here. Focus on him. He has 17 chins and he's going through an exorcism. He's loving life. What, you have two rolls when you fold over? He can't tell if you cut your hair four inches. You focus on you, okay? But the problem is when you start riding him, right? And like, you know when someone has lost the rhythm and you're like, let's get this, let's get this back, we're good. And you're like, and, the, and one, and two, and no. Nope. And one, you're, that you're going too fast. And we're one, and two, and three. And then you know when his dick falls out and you just snap it? Just put him out of his misery. I can't play this stupid game any longer. Get some fucking rhythm, bro. Wow, there's been some dick snappage in West Palm Beach. Honestly, very feminist. <laughs> Snap those dicks! What did you say? Also, how old are you? God damn. You sound like you're coming through AM radio right now. How? 66? Fuck. I suggest you watch your tone. <laughs> Candy ain't the only thing hard around here. <laughs> what? Hey, just showing you my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like the teacher from Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> Does your daughter know that you're trying to pimp her out like this? Sleep gummy is what I imagine an old person calls it when they wake you up with head. <laughs> Trying to give you a sleep gummy. <laughs> this is where we lose about 80% of the audience. This is bad. This is... Can, we, can we dim those spotlights just a little bit? I feel like I'm dying right now. <laughs> Debbie, are you retired now? What, what, did, what did you used to do? American Airlines agent. Fuck you, Debbie. <laughs> From the bottom of my heart, fuck you. Did you start with the Wright brothers? Or like, how, how far did you just go back? You're adorable, Debbie. Husband, what's your name? Jack. All right, so he's dead, okay. Jack, are you okay? Will someone check on this weekend at Bernie's motherfucker right now to make sure? What, what, what was it about Debbie at first that, that, that attracted you to her? It was my boobs. <laughs> I imagine they're still hanging around. <laughs> What's happening? Are we seeing titties? Fucking lights, dude! You're making me miss out on Debbie titties. I fucking hate it here, dude. How long have you guys been together for, sir? Uh, no. <laughs> How the fuck? You don't know! I had a brain tumor. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, dude, that's a fire ass excuse right there! Uh, did you paint the garage? Bitch, I had a brain tumor! When did you get married? You don't know either? You got a brain tumor too, this? Kevin Gates? Kevin Gates is so fucking funny, dude. Kevin Gates is, is a rapper and he makes phenomenal music, but his concerts are the funniest fucking thing I've ever seen in my entire life. He just like, I don't, I don't even know how to describe this to y'all. He like fucks the crowd, if that makes any sense. 
his, the majority of his, of his concerts, I would say, are women, usually, right? He'll be in the middle of a song called, like, Dick you down, dick you down, dick you down. And we'll just stop in the middle of it and be like, you know, sometimes I like to get my fist all up in your pussy lips. And then I, I smother your vagina in jelly and I put that shit together like two ends of a loaf. And then I just, um, 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 um. and you're like, dude, is this the rest of the song? Bro, he'll be on stage and just... <laughs> you're like, what the fuck, dude? Other people are here. Did you guys see Taylor Swift? No, like, I feel like it's her world and we're just living in it. This is what's wild about Taylor Swift right now that I'm impressed by. The range of the type of men that she likes. Joe Alduino, whatever, he looked like a basket-weaving Mormon. <laughs> then Matt Healy is a cigarette. <laughs> and then Travis Kelsey looks like, yes, he looks like he fails Algebra 2 and pushes both of them in a locker. <laughs> and now I'm worried that the only thing left for her is Pete Davidson after this, and I'm upset. <laughs> I'm worried, I'm upset, but all roads lead to Pete. <laughs> No. I lost my virginity to a gay man. Was he gay after? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which I know the lighting's not great back there. But were y'all homeschooled? <laughs> Who says that to somebody? I want to... <laughs> To your best friend, I want to make sure I sleep with the most beautiful girl at school. And Jessica said no. <laughs> so do you want to... <laughs> Bitch, don't do first and last names. Who does that? <laughs> Damn, that's so incriminating. <laughs> Brian. Bryant. God damn it, dude. Stop saying last names. What the fuck is wrong with you? Are you still friends with him? Yes. I'm sure he's not going to appreciate this. The friends? Yeah. yeah. Where, did, where did you guys meet? All of our husbands are dead. Wow. We're all dead. Did y'all meet at the cemetery? <laughs> found support through each other, so that's what's up, okay? Are you guys on a prowl, or are you scared you're gonna kill him again? <laughs> they have insurance. You said as long as they have insurance? I love you! Did any one of y'all kill your husbands, like, on purpose? <laughs> no, an accident. No accident? You liar! <laughs> oh no, he just fell off the boat, oopsie daisy! <laughs> Are you guys a couple or just friends? Fiance. Fiance? Oh shit, you guys are getting married? Wow, good for y'all, dude. I didn't, I didn't even think you were allowed to do that here yet. You just finished cancer treatment. Good for you, man. Battling cancer and AIDS, my god. Are you 24 benefit is you're very young it's like your body's strong as fuck right now bro if you can take some dick you can be cancer dick. man if chemo was a suppository you would have been big this shit dude. You have a boyfriend? Yeah. How long? Um, it'll be is his dick? <laughs> <laughs> How old is he? He'll be 27. He's 27. His brain just fully formed. Yeah. Don't have sex in your 20s. It's so early 20s. <laughs> the men are wild. They finger you, and I'm like, why is it soft four? Was I supposed to come? That's crazy. <laughs>
You guys are naughty. That was really dark and upsetting. She's upset. It's not her fault though. Like they don't know what they're doing and we don't know to tell them what to do. So you're just like. <laughs> and then you tell your friends, you're like, it was so hot. We fucked all night. It was so hot. Oh, it's a sign language interpreter. Is, is, is there a specific person you're signing to or is it just in case? Just in case. Are you serious? So there's nobody like officially deaf up there, right? We bought her tickets. We did buy her tickets. Bought whose tickets? The deaf woman. The deaf woman? Hold on. A deaf person was supposed to be here and you bought the tickets from her? Wow. Was she happy about it or did you rob her blind too? She, she what? She's in the hospital? Oh. That's so funny that they made you come to work still. And nobody, babe, you can put your hands in your pockets. Nobody's down. Like, it's, it's okay. Fucking take a seat. Enjoy the rest of the show. You'll be all right. You want something positive? Was that English? You're what? Sounds like it. Are you actually deaf? You know, you know what's crazy about this right now? At the first show tonight, there was a sign language interpreter up there, and I asked, I was like, which? Somebody tell her I'm talking. Somebody. This is a fucking insane circumstance, because the first show, and I always, I always ask them, I, I want to I know who they're talking to, I always ask, like, is, like, are you here for one person or a group of people? It's usually one person who's either just hearing impaired or completely deaf, right? So I asked her, I go, who are, you, who are you signing for? And a couple yelled out, they go, there were supposed to be a deaf girl here, but we bought her tickets from her. <laughs> There was no deaf person up there whatsoever, and she kept signing the entire show. I'm so sorry there's not like an official interpreter here. Is it? Her interpreter's at the end of the aisle. That's my mom. Oh, mom, how you doing, mom? Can I give you something? Is it chlamydia? <laughs> Can I have it? What is that? Oh, it's a little box, what's in here? Dude, what if it's her ear? There's a note. Oh, it's in Braille. Oh. There's a little necklace in here. What, what, what is this? It's an eagle. It's an eagle? You're a fucking eagle. <laughs> I'm an eagle. Thank you so much. And you're a deaf leopard. <laughs> oh man, I thought she would, because we've already dealt with so many random people yelling out bullshit when she was like, I'm deaf. I was like, okay. <laughs> Oops. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> no, 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 no. You stood up like a zombie a bit too. You stood up slow as shit. <laughs> Sexy. I'm giving you so much rope, dog. I'm giving you so much rope, and you're hanging yourself with it, baby boo. You're still talking, and I'm trying, and I'm trying to give you rope. But here's the thing: I'm gonna give you a little speech, little speech, okay? When you interrupt, it's a very selfish thing to do because everybody here paid a lot of money to come see some jokes, and when you interrupt, that's your fault, and you fuck up everybody else's time. No. So just shh. <laughs> So if you can be quiet, that's dope, okay? So just be quiet, so yes, awesome. Give me some love, baby. I appreciate you coming, I really do. I love you. I love you. Okay. Oh, shit. Hey, yo, you need to leave. Okay, oh, he's good. All right, here we go. Open seat, right. open seat. You took his seat, you fucking <laughs> savage. You fucking savage. God, I love Jacksonville. You guys are so cute. Where'd you meet? In India? Oh, are you guys both Indian? Really? Huh. What's six times 140? Fake, you're Native American. <laughs> I was raised there, he was raised here. 
You were raised there, he was raised here. God, and you were, what were you doing back in India when you, when you met her? Vacation. Just vacation? Yeah, you fell in love on vacation? That's tough, because you had to come back to the States, I would imagine, right? Wow, would you, would you, like, were you sending letters, care packages, water? And I tell him he outsourced it. I write to all our family. Okay, slow down. <laughs> now I believe you're Indian. Now I believe you're right now. And you guys have kids now? No kids at all? Y'all not Indian. Ain't no fucking way. No kids at all. I love that. Everybody's in a rush to have babies these days and it's already overpopulated. You know what I mean? Kind of your fault, but. <laughs> not pointing fingers. Let's go to concerts or anything? Yes. Who's, what kind of music do you like? All the stuff. All the stuff? Yes. You listen to Kendrick Lamar? What about Kendrick Jafar? <laughs> Sit down, be humble. I'm sorry, I hope that wasn't racist. I don't know anymore. I don't know what's okay and what is not anymore. I apologize. Are you guys like just friends? Yeah. Uh, I don't believe you. <laughs> Wait, so you're just like you just like each other's personalities. Yeah, we're friends, we're friends. Yeah. Fun. So you are not attracted to her? <laughs> oh, you are attracted to her. Oh, so you're waiting for her to one day be like, have a couple too many drinks and be like, you're cute. <laughs> <laughs> are you in the friend zone? Oh, you're chilling. Okay. <laughs> that is different. That is different. That is different. Chilling and friends are very different. Do you know the difference between chilling and friends? <laughs> are you her friend? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Are they chilling? <laughs> We're fucking. Yeah! Look at me, look at me. Don't ever fucking lie to me again. How long you been out and about? 21 years. 21 years, wow. In South Carolina, that's that prohibition gay, dude. You, had to, you used to have to sneak up to North Carolina to suck dick, dude. Who'd you, who you come out to? Your mom. Your mom. Your mom caught you? <laughs> Doing what? <laughs> what were you guys doing? Holding hands? Not holding hands. Not holding hands. Were your hands holding something? <laughs> Man, what a what? So you didn't come out to your mom. You came in front of your mom. <laughs> Kind of a cop out. You don't get you don't get the bravery of I came out to my mom when you were like, I'm gay by the way. <laughs> no, you you caught. How long you guys been together for? <laughs> Why is it so up? It was a hoe. That's what he's supposed to do. <laughs> I'm just trying to help you. Out. I don't know. So what happened? Why'd you leave her? For her best friend. For her best friend. <laughs> And then you guys got back together. Yeah, we got back together. Yes, sir. It happened again. What happened again? The best friend thing? A different friend. A different friend. What is happening? <laughs> the good part is y'all together now, and that's all that matters, okay? That's all that matters. Okay, miss, run. Um, He's now we're getting married next He's because you're getting married. See, you're already devaluing yourself. Don't fucking do that. Don't say you're Say he's blessed because I'm giving him that coochie. I'm going to. You guys look very cute. Okay. You guys just got married. Okay. Awesome. That's boring compared to you. That's like Dr. Seuss, your game of thrones. You know what I mean? They're going to be together for like 80, 90 years. You're going to, you know, y'all going to die in like a fire and fourth fall. Something cool. Something cool. What did you say? Also, how old are you? God damn. You sound like you're coming through AM radio right now. Sixty-six? Fuck. I 
I suggest you watch your tone. <laughs> Candy ain't the only thing hard around here. You sound like the teacher from Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> Does your daughter know that you're trying to pimp her out like this? No, but they also have sleep gummies. You should try them. <laughs> A sleep gummy is what I imagine an old person calls it when they wake you up with head. <laughs> trying to give you a sleep gummy. This is where we lose about 80% of the audience. This is bad. This is... Can, we, can we dim those spotlights just a little bit? I feel like I'm dying right now. <laughs> Debbie, are you retired now? Yes. What, what, did, what did you used to do? American Airlines agent. Fuck you, Debbie. <laughs> From the bottom of my heart, fuck you. Did you start with the Wright brothers? Or like, how, how far did you just go back? You're adorable, Debbie. Husband, what's your name? Uh, so he's dead. Okay. Jack, are you okay? Will someone check on this weekend at Bernie's motherfucker right now to make sure? What, what, what was it about Debbie at first that, that, that attracted you to her? It was my boo. I imagine they're still hanging around. What's happening? Are we seeing titties? The fucking lights, dude! You're making me miss out on Debbie titties. I fucking hate it here, dude. You guys are like cute together. How'd you meet? Her brother is mine. Touch mine. Would I love to be a fly on the wall when you had to tell him? Is she the little sister? You're naughty. You guys are naughty. <gasps> you know how like in an airport, if a guy's your age, like you're gonna, f you wanna fuck him? That's just how it is. If I have an older brother and he has a friend, they're immediately hotter, cause they're the older brother's friend. What are you guys? Yeah. Wait, you are so good at answering questions. Normally I have to pry people and I actually don't trust you. Um, <laughs>